How's it going everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another YouTube video. Today we're going to be taking a look at Freedom Fi and Helium. This is some big news been tweeted out in the past hour by the co-founder Amir Halim from Helium. This it's just incredible. I'm gonna there's an article that was posted. Amir tweeted about it. I'm gonna talk to you guys about it all. But before we do get started, please make sure that you guys like, comment, and subscribe and turn on your post notifications to be notified when I upload new videos. So uh, with that out of the way, let's get into it. Whew. I always got to stutter in the beginning of my videos, but this is Freedom 5 for you. any of you guys that have not seen or heard of Freedom 5. Basically, it's another helium miner, but it's actually meant with the idea of implementing 5G in local areas so that you can actually have 5G in a warehouse. They talk about it right here. Uh, you can deploy it in specific companies and you can have your own cellular network uh, within your area and it broadcasts pretty far uh, with the antennas uh, you can see buy your LTE small cell from any common commodity vendor <laughs> connect your LTD radios to the freedom fight gateway and you're off to the races so uh, they had a reserve list in April where you could put down $100, it's basically a $100 coupon, and you're allowed to get a Freedom 5 router in the upcoming days. So in about 24 days, they're actually going to be releasing their first iteration of this miner, and they're going to be selling it to enterprises first, uh, the people who place really large orders. Uh, and it could be individuals, but anyone who plays larger orders are going to have access to them first, and then the individual people like me and like you guys most likely are going to have access soon. But Amir Halim is the founder at Helium, co-founder according to Wikipedia, regardless it doesn't matter. He said it's happening. Helium is going to be the largest neural host cellular network in the US. This is an article by Light Reading and this was just published today. Helium Freedom 5 prefers massive DIY 5G network. If you guys don't know, 5G is ridiculously expensive to build. I actually worked in the cable industry for the past two summers, and the whole time we've been trying to actually lay out the 5G cable and all that stuff. Very, very expensive project. Okay, so I was working with Comcast and a little bit of Verizon. It is a very expensive, easily in the millions, possibly billions of dollars to deploy it in the cities. Don't even think about deploying it out where I, I live in the suburbs. It, it, it's difficult. So uh, they said it's manufacturers in the midst of bidding 20,000 small cells that will form the basis of what CEO will be the largest uh, CBRS-based neural host networks in the U.S. So consumer-based I believe that's consumer-based. Let me just double-check here. Um, oh, Citizens Broadband Radio Service. Yeah, yeah, Okay, so it's going to be operated by the people, which is the whole point of Helium. We're fairly certain this is going to be sufficient demand. Obviously, I think this is going to be bigger than Helium itself. I think this might even be the future of Helium. I said I read in an article somewhere else today that around 30% of Helium's earnings through the proof of coverage is going to be allocated to uh, the 5G side of things it might increase uh, as time goes on to put that in perspective verizon is hoping to operate around thirty thousand small cells in its own network by the end of this year so what that's wild okay so we're gonna helium network is going to have twenty thousand with freedom fi and verizon is going to have thirty thousand that that is major competitive uh not even an advantage that's on the same battleground as verizon which has been around forever all right the Freedom Fi network will introduce a new and very different 5G business model into the market. Do it yourself, obviously, backed by cryptocurrency. So Freedom Fi's customers plan to activate their own 5G transmitters using radio equipment purchased from the company's partners in the unreleased 3.5 gigahertz consumer branded radio spectrum band. The resulting network can either be used for private purposes or it can be opened up to other Freedom Fi customers or partners, thus creating a community-owned roaming setup. So you can actually have this setup. So like I said earlier, you can have it running in a warehouse or a company where, uh, like a manufacturing uh, warehouse uh, where everyone in the warehouse will have access and it will be a closed network or you could actually have it open and you can get paid for it. And uh, that is coming up right now. So it's the second use case that really represents a new element in the telecommunications industry. Freedom Fi has partnered with a hard startup called Helium, which is not a startup at this point. It's been around for quite some time. That essentially rewards people for setting up their own network. All right, this is where we come into play. So Helium for years has been operating this kind of cryptocurrency-backed DOI network for the Internet of Things. 
So indeed, IoT, she said she made $15,000. Wow, lucky girl. So from my understanding, this FreedomFi network will actually be able to provide the low raw WAN net, or the low raw along with the 5G antenna band. So that's also very cool. Renske of FreedomFi says that the companies received 10,000 small cell orders in the four days of pre-sales. Uh, he said also FreedomFi's manufacturer partners, which he declined to name, are in the process of building 20,000 5G-ready small cells the company plans to ship this year. Uh, the rest are expected to ship sometime this month and continue through the rest of 2021. So they're going to enter with the enterprise people first. Where is the big paragraph? It's coming up here. He wouldn't identify any of the customers who purchased Freedom 5 small sales, but they include individuals and companies. Importantly, he said that several unnamed NVNOs plan to support roaming onto the network that Freedom 5 is supplying. That is massive. NVNOs, if you guys don't understand, mobile virtual network operators. That is AT&T, Sprint, T-Mobile, U.S. Cellular, Verizon. Every company that provides cellular service is an MVNO for the most part. I don't think I'm wrong on that. I'm fairly confident I'm right. Track phone wireless, Boost Mobile, all that stuff. It's a United States thing. Uh, for, this is the list for the United States. It's huge. Uh, plan to support on today. Okay, so however, Freedom 5 sites won't be open to everyone with a CRBRS compatible phone. So he said, Rensky said, Freedom 5 is currently selling an Andor small cell for $1,500 that should cover roughly three times the range of a Wi Fi hotspot and can support speeds up to 150 megabits per second. So the company expects to launch an outdoor small cell for around $2,000 that can provide connections up to several miles away and can support speeds up to 220 megabits. Both guides require a connection to the Freedom Fi gateway that costs around $1,000. Rensky said installing the gadgets is more like installing a Wi Fi access point than a massive cell tower. There is something that I missed here, and I don't know where it is. Oh, here it is. Meaning the customers who purchase and install Freedom Fi's equipment stand to get paid through Helium's cryptocurrency for that MVMO, MVNO traffic onto their 5G sites. So, this is massive. I, I, I talked about this in the Helium chat because uh, it was all brought up and I was in a call with them. But you're going to be paid for proof of coverage and you're also going to be paid for network use when people use your actual data that you're providing. So for anyone that has a FreedomFi on order, this is going to be huge for you. This is going to be huge for everyone in your area. You're actually going to be building a 5G network for everyone near you. I know right where I'm at in my house, I have very bad cellular signal. So if I could deploy a 5G network above my house, I would be I would get great signal. Uh, I would be paying for this signal, but I would also be receiving money by paying because I'm paying to myself in a way. So it's just incredible. Um, if you guys don't know what FreedomFi is, I mean, th this website is great. Uh, there's a lot going on here, and they have really really well laid out what what they're what they're doing all this stuff so uh they have a community here um and it talks about all all of their their governance and all that stuff so really really cool stuff and i am really excited to see how this plays out i really think this is going to be the future for helium if i myself can get one of these on a cell tower I and mean, you guys too if you guys can get this on a cell tower oh my god it's game over it's game over for these people. So basically, they want to go, instead of doing what you know Comcast and Verizon have been doing with deploying it underground, doing this massive construction, they're going to go in the air. And they're going to use antennas, and they're going to need more of them, but it's going to be cheaper. So I, I think this is really cool. And you can also deploy them where you don't necessarily have a great connection. I believe you can deploy these. As long as you have Wi-Fi, you're allowed to deploy these in the area. I'm pretty sure it's going to be the same. Let's scroll down here. This is the device, so it's going to have the same uh, setup as a regular helium miner. So you're going to be able to do probably PoE, power over Ethernet, as well as have the antenna. So that's awesome. As long as you have Wi-Fi, you should be able to use these. That's all I got for you guys. It's a quick little video. I know it's not on the same upload schedule that I usually do. Uh, I'm really trying to upload like every three days, but so much is happening and i just want to make content so uh i apologize in advance if there's a lot of content this week i'm really excited i will see you all in the next 
video. I think I'm going to be making a video on the transmit scales. Well, it's a definite yes. And then I'm also going to be upgrading my helium antenna setup. So I'm going to be making videos on those. The helium antenna setup is going to be pushed out at least a week because I'm completely booked this weekend. I'm, I'm working. So that is all for this video. If you guys have any questions, please comment down below. If uh, Anything you guys want me to talk about, I got some suggestions. So, sub oh my gosh, I'm stuttering so much. Suggestions, and I will uh, look at those and possibly make a video on them. So I will see you all in the next video. Have a great day. Peace out.